Hello, Spidventures, and welcome back to some more Tanuki Tail Review. Now, most of you are probably thinking, oh, this is just another uh, k thing, or, you know, for the statue. It is not a... I mean, if you've seen the title, you would know it's not completely. But it is another figure unboxing. So, that's cool. Uh, my one came in the mail. And I do have two more on the way, just two more, other than this one. So you will be seeing more of that content. I will eventually be doing the pop vinyl stuff. And um, if you haven't seen the last Tanuki Tail review, it was on uh, Soul Eater, which I'm wearing a Soul Eater shirt right now. But this is not a video about Soul Eater. So if you want to hear about Soul Eater, you guys can go and check that video out. All right, so... Today, I am going to be unboxing a figure that I am very excited about because I saw this and I was like, yo, this is awesome. I want one. And I got it for a good price, thankfully. And it has finally come. It is Asuna Yuki from Sword Art Online. Now, this is not Asuna from her, you know, her general stereotypical... Um, outfit, and if you could see through the bubble wrap, which I decided to keep on because of unboxing purposes, uh, you can see it is not her stereotypical outfit, and I will be talking about that in a little bit. Now, Asuna is the first female character in the um, Sword Art Online series, being Kirito's first love interest. Um, not this early on in the ser in the series, but she basically ends up becoming his. Um, spoiler alert, his wife in the game, and, uh, yeah, they, they are very great friends, and this is a great series, so if you have not seen Sword Art Online, go check it out, and in one of the series, there, well, seasons, there is a character named Yuki, and it's pretty funny, because, you know, in Japan, they refer to people by their last name, usually, so... Yeah, and her first name being Yuki, the one character. But that's totally a different thing. So this figure, this design, this outfit is from um, the second episode. Now, that's generally, you know, you'd think, well, isn't it the first? No, this is from the second um second episode because the first one was introducing Sword Art Online, introducing Kirito and Klein as characters, and you saw a few of the characters, like you saw, um, I think you saw Silica, you saw Lizbeth, um, you may have seen Asuna, but I don't know, and, you know, Sword Art Online, they, they were turned into what they look like in real life, and they got stuck in the game, so, really great series. But in the second episode, Kirito ends up hearing about the whole boss raid that they're planning. So he goes to the boss planning. There's a bit bit of a um, fight between a few characters, one named uh, Kibao, who basically ends up yelling about the beta testers. And Kirito, being a beta tester, is getting really, really nervous. But thankfully, um, a tank named... Egil, I think, ends up stepping in and interrupting him. Now, this is going somewhere and does have to do with Asuna. So, after that whole big blow-up, you know, I can't... This might not be accurate or not, but I think right after that, they end up saying, okay, you need to pick your teams, and then we'll meet up tomorrow. Well, everybody already has a team. Kirito does not. He sees a girl and well, a character in Hood doesn't know it's a girl at all, but he sees he sees Asuna in her hood and goes over to her. They end up talking and she's like, "Yeah, sure, whatever. I'll I'll team up with you for now." And after that, it being nighttime, Kirito ends up finding Asuna on a bench you know, eating, just eating a nice thing of bread, and he takes out, he takes out some butter, and she puts it on there. So this is what that's based on. Now, I know that's four minutes of 
backstory that I could have been trying to open this, but um, I didn't really feel like it. Now, I think I'm assuming this figure is going to be, um, and I should have brought scissors, but I think we are going to have to put this figure together. I did, I did feel like recording this today because my one friend is coming over and she is one of the people who introduced me to Sword Art Online. And speaking of that, I do actually have uh, one of the books over here. I'm not done reading it, but I did plan on doing some stuff about the books. Um, as well, I do have an Assassination Classroom book that, once I read that, I will talk about that on one of these videos, and hopefully I can open up this tape. You'd think by now, after so many of these, that I just bring scissors, but I don't, I keep forgetting, and you know, it'd be kind of weird to just be keeping scissors in my room all the time, so, but I just need to get this tape off, and it really doesn't want to come off, it's being really annoying. And you guys are probably really annoyed with me because it's very often that this happens. And I probably should have been doing this while explaining the whole shebang backstory and whatnot. So I did damage the box a bit, but that's okay. Um, it does have a few wrinkles from, from coming from China or something, I think. I think it came from China is what I've, what I've heard. Yeah, but I do, I do have other characters that are coming. And yeah, so let me know in the comment section below, what do you think of Sword Art Online? Who's your favorite character? Uh, my favorite character is Lifa and Sinan. They are really cool characters. And following that is Kirito. So Kirito is my third favorite. You know, Asuna is pretty good. There's not any characters in Sword Art Online that I don't like, which is always a good thing when you like all of the characters and you... You find them really cool and they just they just work I've also been saying and a lot for whatever reason probably been saying um a lot too so hopefully I'm not bothering people but if you didn't know when I when I was first starting off there was somebody who commented that I said um way too much and the next video prior to that I could not stop saying um and it it bothered me so much so I hope that that's not happening too much. Okay, so it looks like it's about like a smaller figure, which that's fine, um, because I don't think we'll have to do a lot of assembling. But, you know, also the Mio statues were pretty big statues, so I was very surprised about that. And I did have a, a Mugi statue, but, you know, she didn't come new, so I decided not to record that. Okay, so, yo, this this figure looks really, really cool. I'm not even upset that it's, it's like, not as big as the Mio ones. I think I just got lucky with the Mio ones being bigger. But, yo, this figure looks awesome. <laughs> Dude, I've, I've loved SAO since I've learned about it. And it's just been fantastic. Now, it does feel very... Like, the figure feels very frail, and before I do put it on the stand, I do want to move it around a lot. But she seems very, like, frail, so I want to be careful. Now, her hair, like, she's even got a nice zigzag line, which is really cool. Her hair is very accurate. It's got this, this little, like, bun ponytail. It's got the nice flowing locks all the way down her back. It's got that nice hood. I like the color of the hood. I definitely like that because it's a very nice color. I don't know how to describe it. It's definitely got a very big plasticky smell because it's it's a newer figure, which a lot of figures do have that. And some people might find that just weird when people mention that, but that's not a bad thing necessarily. She's got she's got the uh, the biscuit with with some butter on it, which is really really cool. And you can tell it's a very low-leveled outfit because she has that little chest plate on that even Kirito had when he started, like every player had in the beginning. She's got, you know, white shirt, a belt, and that red skirt 
the leggings. I do like the buckles on on here on her boots because that looks really cool. Very shiny. Didn't you know? Didn't dispense any detail. And all of all f all four of the figures that I have, um, their their one knee is bent, which is kind of funny. But I don't I don't think um one of the others that I bought, which I want to say what it is, but I can't. You know. Okay, but moving on, she also has her Skellbird um, there. Even though you really can't see it that well, but she's got the sword there too. She's got holes in her sleeves. Really great detail, I'd have to say. Um, her eyes are kind of funny, but you know what? I, I'd say this is a really good quality figure. And there's there's even a symbol... I can't see what it is though. But there there's a signal a symbol on her on her shoulder which is really cool. I think even the the biscuit has a few like a little bit of a bite in it. Yeah, so it's it's supposed to represent that first meeting. Well that that meeting on the bench with the biscuit with Kirito and Asuna. So here comes the fun part. After looking over the figure, which, tell me in the comments section below, which I've been asking you guys a lot, so if you have been commenting, thank you very much, but what is your, what is your opinion on the figure? What, what do you think about this Asuna figure eating, eating a nice late snack, late night snack? Now, one thing I do have to nitpick about, like, all of these figures is that it's so precise where the foothold is and it's just it's frustrating to get both feet on but you know I want them to stand up and actually use the stand so it's not something that I can just a part that I can just skip but it's always it always gives me trouble and I'm so scared that I'm gonna just like break the figure but it's so precise and oh there we go Okay, that's cool. So I got I got her on the fig on the stand. Now the other stands are pretty decorated, except for the first Mio statue that we unboxed, which uh, those are also in the same Tanuki Tail review playlist. If you want to see those, but definitely a really cool figure, and I can never get the feet onto like all the way one hundred percent into the stand, but. This is a really cool looking figure, and we are going to go, we're, we're going to stand up. I know this is really, really awkward, but I don't feel like ending, ending this off. But we are going to go and, sorry guys, I just need to put the camera down, which I know it's really awkward just staring at my ceiling, but you know, so... Here it is. Yeah, I got got the the Asuna figure right there. Same size as the Mio one, which you haven't seen the Mio one. But that's that's the size of the Mio one. But let me just show you for the Mio one. Yeah, it didn't come new. Like you might be able to see there's a bit of a weird a kind of melt kind of melted look on on her. So I mean it it kind of bites, but that's okay. Also, a few spoilers for the pop vinyls, if you can see them. But, yeah, that is the end of uh, that unboxing. Hopefully, you guys all enjoyed. I'm also using my window as light, if you could see. So, yeah, I can now put this back safely where it was. So, yes, that was the Asuna Yuki figure unboxing. I hope you guys all enjoyed Again, let me know in the comment section below, what were your thoughts on the figure? Would you get one? And, you know, just let me know. Share share pictures of the figure, you know, what your figure looks like or whatever. And let me know in the comment section below if you want to see more of these uh, unboxings for for these figures. And, you know... If I did miss any details, let me know as well. If I missed any details on the figure, or if I messed up in the backstory of 
the the episode. Let me know that, and I hope all of you were able to enjoy this video, and maybe you learned something, maybe you want to see Sword Art Online again, or you want to check it out now that you've seen this. Also, I have done a plush um, showcase and unboxing with Kirito, Asuna, and Silica, so if you do want to see that, it is also in the playlist, but I'm not sure if it's in the unboxing playlist or the um, Tanuki Tail review one, because these have just recently become Tanuki Tail review. If you want to see original stuff, or maybe more of my face, you can go to Spade Gals Original and check out either the Spade Comet vlog or the upcoming gaming well upcoming game videos of my creation or whoever's creation. And yeah, you guys can also check out script stories such as Girl of Cyclone and Quincor. I was thinking about wearing one of my SGO SGO SGP shirts today in this video, but I decided against it because I kind of wanted to wear one of them when school started. So yeah, get get that promotion out. Also share the video if you did like it by the way. And if you're wondering what's going on with all of these videos, because you guys were probably like, why why was there just such this big break of Tanuki Tail Review, and then all of a sudden, right now, this. I have to wait for these to actually come in the mail when I buy them. So, I could have done the Pop Vinyls, but I didn't really, it didn't click in my mind. But yeah, I had to wait for these in the mail, and again, there are two more coming so look forward to that, and I'm very excited to unbox both of them because they are really cool looking figures. Um, you guys can also check out Twitter, which is linked in this channel and probably soon the SGO channel, but you can check that out to see all of the updates, what's going on with uploads and all that. If you want to see gaming videos, you guys can go to the playlist. I usually do gaming videos anyway, so you guys can usually go to the current video list, check those out, see what's going on there, like 06, Pokemon Tournament, Sonic 3 Knuckles, Freedom Planet, which those two playthroughs, Sonic 3 Knuckles and Freedom Planet, are almost done. There's like one more episode after this week, and then they are both done. Both have 12 episodes. I might do more with Freedom Planet with Carol, but... I don't know yet. We'll have to see what happens. I do plan on it, but we'll have to see how you guys like the playthrough to see if I if I end up doing that sooner or later. With all of that and, you know, talking about all of the things, outro being three minutes, I think we're good to end off the episode. So I'll see you later. Bye!